What's happening, my wonderful YouTubers and guests? Zero Hyper Gaming here, bringing you all another reaction video. Um, for this reaction video, I'll be taking a quick look at um, how big tornadoes get. Um, it looks pretty interesting, and I've always been interested in natural disasters like tornadoes, hurricanes, typhoons, um, earthquakes, tsunamis, and I'm always amazed at how big they can get. Uh, my first experience with tornado was when I lived in Kentucky. I think I remember. I lived right between Kentucky and Tennessee. That's where I was stationed at. Um, I think we were driving down. They had a tornado warning, but the tornado was so far away from us, and like there's no way it could get us. But like when we were driving on the freeway, um, we could actually see the tornado, like how big it was. Like just from being really far away, I could see how the width of that thing was gigantic. But when you when you watch it in movies and like documentaries, they look smaller or big. But when you like see something in real life from far away, it's pretty crazy. But it wasn't heading in our direction, so I think that was a good thing. As you can see, we could see it from far away, but it wasn't heading in our direction. So we got kind of lucky. But anyways, folks, let's go take a quick look at this video. Tornadoes are some of the most terrifying natural disasters that happen on our planet. They can strike without warning, obliterate entire cities, and can throw people and cars around like they're toys. Oh, but no doubt. How exactly big and terrifying can a tornado actually get? <laughs> well... Most tornadoes have wind speeds that are under 110 miles per hour and are smaller than 80 meters across. Imagine an American football field and the tornado would be about as wide as 75% of the field's length. And while it would certainly be difficult, a human could actually manage to withstand being blown away by that wind speed. But that's not what you're watching this video for, so let's just get straight into the insane world of gigantic tornadoes Sorry and about where that, they folks. happen. <laughs> Tornadoes have been documented to occur in every continent on Earth except for Antarctica, but a vast majority of tornadoes what? happen here in the United States in a region known as Tornado Alley. The reasoning for this makes sense because of the area's unique geographic location. Cold, dry air flows in accompanied by the jet stream from the north. Warm, dry oh, air flows in from the okay, deserts to the southwest, why. and warm, moist air flows in from the Gulf of Mexico to the south and east. It's a mixture the combination of, air. of all this air mixing together is what causes Tornado Alley to be such a hot spot for tornadoes, and time and time again, new records have been set here. The year 2011 saw a tornado super outbreak where in just four days there were 362 tornadoes that touched down over an area spanning That's from crazy. Mississippi to Virginia. On just April 27th the alone, heck? there were 218 tornadoes that touched the ground here. Together in the span That's of just four spooky, days, these dude. tornadoes caused over $11 billion in damages, claimed the lives of 324 people, and injured over 2,200 tornadoes in just a few You can few actually months? tell the path that tornadoes have taken I would very just live easily from satellite or images like this one or this one. But even still, this wasn't oh, even the most lethal the tornado path incident of the destruction. in the region. The deadliest tornado in U.S. history happened back in March 1925 in this region of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. There is no record of how fast the wind speed of the tornado may have been at the time, but it slashed through a path between all three states of 219 miles long. It traveled that distance in only three and a half hours, meaning that if the tornado instead started in Washington, D.C., it would have reached all the way to New York City in the same oh, amount oh of time. Oh my gosh, that's so In that fast. distance, the tornado claimed the lives of 695 people, but even that wasn't the deadliest tornado in world history. A lesser-known tornado hotspot is located on the other side of the world in this region of Bangladesh and oh. eastern India. Bangladesh. More lives have actually been claimed in this region by tornadoes. Yeah, see, we don't hear too much news alley, about tornadoes in the other of these continents or countries. Most people in this region live in very impoverished conditions and poorly built structures, and wow, that combined I'm amazed with the, the tornado would be there. density of the area is what led to this disaster. The tornado struck a heavily populated area of these poorly built structures and ended up claiming the lives of over 1,300 people and injured Holy over 12,000 more. It was considered an EF5 tornado, which is the highest possible categorization for a tornado. Oh yeah, that's the biggest that it one. had wind speeds of well over 200 miles per hour, which is capable of lifting cars, trucks, and even trains train cars and turning them into missiles that can be fired over a mile away from the tornado itself. It's often not the wind that actually kills a person in a tornado, but the vast amount of debris that the tornado picks up from obliterating houses and buildings. Must have had a ton of debris Wooden since it was in the middle of a trees, city. metal, cars, and even animals can all become a swirling vortex of death traveling at speeds of several hundred miles an hour. 
With all of this being said, however, the largest and probably most terrifying tornado known to have ever happened on our planet was the El Reno tornado, and it El took place Reno not tornado. too long ago in 2013 just west of Oklahoma City. Compared to the size of most tornadoes that I talked about in the beginning of this video, the El Reno behemoth reached a size of 2.6 miles wide and achieved a terrifying wind speed of 302 God. miles per hour, which is the fastest recorded wind ever taken on our planet. Oh to put these numbers into perspective, you could that actually fit two huge. fully sovereign countries completely oh inside the width of the tornado, Vatican City and Monaco. Even more ludicrous is what it would look like if we put this tornado over New York City. The entire the length of the whole city end to end is almost a perfect measurement of how wide this tornado actually was so imagine a tornado that long with winds screaming around it over 300 <laughs> miles per hour that's fast enough to severely damage even skyscrapers and can rip the asphalt straight off of streets on the ground if you were curious what would happen to your face at those speeds, then here's a video taken from the NASA Langley Research Center back from 1946 showing exactly what would happen to you in such a tornado condition. Oh, that's crazy, dude. If like the El Reno tornado had happened literally just a few more miles right to the east, it would have directly hit downtown Oklahoma City, and it probably would have destroyed the city. The scariest thing about tornadoes yeah. like this one is that they can happen in a huge variety of places with very little warning, and it's entirely possible that the next time a big one happens, it won't be in a countryside field, but rather in a large city. I'm going to leave you with this fascinating map from NOAA that shows you the daily probability of a tornado strike near your house throughout the year. Enjoy. Okay, so we can see where it's most likely to happen. Wow, it looks like it's getting worse. Look at that. It looks like it... Oh, that's where all the tornado problems happen. Oh, it's no, it's actually not really getting worse, but it's traveling up. Wow, it's in that whole area right there. And I heard sometimes those tornadoes can appear really fast. Like when they come out, like they come out really fast. I heard like some there's sometimes where people don't even have enough time to evacuate. That's probably why they always suggest like underground shelters, which makes sense. Folks, let me know what y'all think about that video in the comment section box below. And let me know what y'all think about the reaction video. But man, this tornado, that's so crazy. Did they mention 2.6 miles? You know how big that is? <laughs> it takes... Okay, when I used to run, it used to take me, when I first started doing it, it used to take, it takes some people maybe between average 13 to 17 minutes for to, to run a two mile. And this thing is how big, shooting at 200 miles, 200 mile per hour winds 300. And it's that wide. And when tornadoes form, they form pretty quick. So, I mean... My gosh, I don't even think you have enough time to evacuate. Like, I think once you get that tornado warning, I don't even think there's enough time to get to get your stuff, get in a vehicle, and just drive off or run off. I think you just got to drop. Once you hear that tornado warning, if it's that big, I think you just got to drop everything and leave. And even then, I don't even think that's enough time to move because if it, if it hits you in a big city like New York, there's, there's no way you're going to be able to drive off with your vehicle. I think you're just going to have to find someplace underground and just make sure you just stay there and make sure it doesn't, the tornado not strong enough to just rip everything that's on top that's that you're underneath <laughs> but yeah that's so crazy one wow. let me know what y'all think if you um what y'all think about tornadoes in the comment section box below and let me know what y'all think um if y'all experienced any type of tornadoes in real life like if you saw it before i for me i saw it but i wouldn't see it in an encounter it was far away you can kind of see it, it as like real small but i could tell like you can tell how big it was and wide but it was far away and it wasn't heading in our direction. But it must, but it was like a pretty small one. But man, like just to look at, I, I watched those like storm chaser videos on YouTube, like the tornado ones, and those things are gigantic, dude. Like when they go super close, I always trip out. Like, and then when they go close to those, some of those tornadoes, a lot of them will say like some of those are like the real small ones, and I'm like, dude, that looks like finger of death right there. That thing is. Just watching their videos, the some of the storm chasers, that thing looks huge. 
but then I can't imagine like the F3 or F5s. But anyways, folks, uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, folks, and check out my gaming channel on Facebook, Twitch, and my gaming page on Instagram. And whew, thank you all for, for joining me. Like Zero Hyper Gaming always says, Mahalo, peace. Everything changes.